125 is medium rare, 135 is gonna be medium, 145 is gonna be medium well, and 155 and above, you're a crazy person. Hey guys, I'm Sonny's Barbecue Pit Master, Shannon Snell, and welcome to another Tales from the Pit. Today we're talking about times and temperatures. We want you to be safe out there, so we want you to know the exact area that you should be temping your meat and when you should be doing it as well. So let's get to it. Okay, so we are over here with our pork butt. Um, go ahead and open this up. Um, so cook time on a pork butt is gonna range anywhere from eight to nine hours. Uh, you're looking for the internal temperature to get to right at around uh, 200 to 205 degrees. That's gonna make for optimal uh, temperature to, for that pulled pork to come, across, come out easily to remove, to remove that bone pretty easily. Um, you temp this pork in the thickest part, all right, the thickest part of the, uh, of, the, of the butt, which would be, or the shoulder, that would be almost right in the middle, right in the central part of it, okay? So make sure you have a thermometer long enough to get you in there uh, to temp that. Once you can temp that and it's done, you're good to go. Okay, so we got two temperatures to take here. Pop my, my pellet smoker open right here. So you can see here, I'm cooking both ribs and brisket together. They both cook at 275 degrees. I'm gonna take the temperature of these ribs. Now we're cooking these ribs. Uh, it generally takes them a total amount of time in both the wrap and in the open, right around three and a half, four hours. We're gonna temp them right here in the thickest part of the bone to see if they're done. All right, we're cooking these at 275 degrees until the internal temperature is 200 to 205 degrees. All right, we have our brisket here. Now, I got this uh, probe with our temperature alarm so it can keep me alerted when this hits a, uh, when this hits a appropriate temperature. But we're gonna cook this brisket at 275 degrees um, for uh, roughly around nine hours. Now, that's super important that you know where to temp this brisket at, to check the temperature. You're gonna check it right between the point and right between the flat. We talked about in another video, which we will throw down in the description box for you, how to cook this brisket, where to temp it at, and when to wrap it. So 275 degrees until it reaches 200 to 205 degrees, and you're looking for room temperature peanut butter consistency. All right, so now I'm doing steaks and burgers. I moved on over from my proteins on my smoker, and we're on the grill. Um, Surface temperature of a grill, you want somewhere between 500 degrees and 550 degrees. That's a perfect searing temperature to cook, uh, cook steaks and burgers in the open. You're not generally gonna close the lid on this uh, because it's such a quick cook, all right? Just depending on the temperature that you want. For steaks, it starts at a blue rare. A blue rare is 115 degrees with the rest up to another five degrees at 120. 125 is medium rare. 135 is gonna be medium, 145 is gonna be medium well, and 155 and above, you're a crazy person. So we're not gonna even talk about that, but that's well done. So if you're, if you're a well done person, just know you're missing some of that myoglobin, that red juicy stuff in there, it's not blood, okay? That's myoglobin, it's the juicy stuff that keeps these steaks really, uh, really nice and really moist and really juicy. Now, when talking about burgers, same tip, okay? You wanna get, now we're talking ground beef, a little bit, little bit different. Um, really rare is gonna be 120 degrees, okay? Uh, generally, you wanna cook your burgers up to uh, 165 degrees, but it's okay to cook them down to 155. Uh, 140, there should be nothing cooked under 145 degrees, all right? Ground beef, um, it's always recommended that you cook them at 145 degrees and above. So these steaks, I'm feeling them, it's starting to get to a point where I like them. This one's a little bit more done. Now we put this down first and we put it in a hot spot. So it's starting to feel that temperature. So when I stick that probe in, I know that it's starting to approach the 120s. This one's a little bit more, uh, this one's a little bit less done. So I know this is probably about 110, but that's approaching. And both of these are right at around the same area. You can see the diamond marks on that. Diamond marks are a key indicator that that sear has gotten deep down within the meat. And then we have our Wagyu burgers right here. You can see all that juiciness that's coming out of there. All that kind of collagen, that fattiness, that good, good stuff that we really look for. 
So let's take a temperature of our steaks right now and see where we are. Now, when you're temping steaks, right, you're gonna temp them in the thickest, the thickest part, right? You're not gonna temp it right on the end because that's gonna be a spot that's gonna be a hot spot. You're gonna temp it like right in the middle where somebody's cutting into it. All right, this is that, like I said, it's approaching probably about 115. So that means it's gonna be done in just a few minutes. Except this one. And this one, like I said, it was a little bit less done. You can still feel that it's still a little bit uh, soft in the middle. Same here, so in the order that we put these down, we went one, two, three, four, and that's the order that they'll generally get done. So I'm just putting a little bit of butter on it. Um, this butter just protects it, keeps it nice and juicy. Butter is actually like a protection shield for anything that's on a grill. And it's a finisher, all right? We're not gonna finish it on a grill, but you can fit. Normally people finish it with a little garlic butter, some, um, some, some, uh, some uh, garlic. They do it with a little bit of uh, thyme, all rosemary, whatever they wanna put on top of it. I just do this over top of my steaks because you know, it just kind of gives them a little bit of barrier and it gives them a little bit more flavor. So Pitmaster Pro Tip, whenever you're temping steaks, always make sure you're pro when you're probing, come in at an angle. So if you go straight down, that's a bad deal because you may go straight down into the grates. It gives you a false reading, right? Because if it starts, if it goes all the way through the steak and it starts to hit that flame, it could say 150 degrees, 160 degrees. And the true temperature isn't maybe like, let's say it's 105. It's like, hey, this is too rare for my taste. Okay, this one's temp at about 125. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this one off. So I, I'm generally going into one spot, right? I'm finding the, the thickest area. Like if it's gonna be 125 degrees in dead center at the thickest area, guaranteed on the outer edges is gonna be another 10 to 15 degrees above that, because those are gonna be a little bit thinner. So once you get one spot that you really like, you can pull it off from there. So burgers, you're at the same thing with steaks. You want to temp them at an angle, get to dead center. And we can see this is almost 122 degrees. Pitmaster Pro Tip is that if your target temperature for a certain food is at 145 degrees, you need to remove it at 140 degrees because it will continue to cook. So there we have it. You found some optimal temperatures to cook burgers, steaks, brisket, ribs, and pork butts. Please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And by the way, hit that notification bell. Ring it, super, super important. Whenever something comes up or when a new video comes up, you're gonna see my smiling face or one of my colleagues. I'm Sonny's Barbecue Pitmaster Shannon Snell. I'll see you next time.